Do you imagine how it feels when they ask me, did you ever go to Vietnam? And I say, well, no, I volunteered six times, but I never, I never went. But I did go to the Congo. What did you do there? So I explain to them what I did, and then I tell them it was a special lot. But there's nothing on my DD-214, so I can imagine a lot of the guys say, oh yeah, okay, you know. Copper, that was the big thing was the copper and the, and the ores on the hills and the diamonds and things like that. sea rations and then we had to be careful at that because if you gave the people that were there helping us too much stuff the soldiers would get them and take it away from them and beat them up for it because they were starving they didn't have they weren't getting paid they didn't get fed took over the coup in 65 and that's when uh, before that was I think Kasi Bubu and they got him out and then <clears throat> since he was buddies or Western ally with the United States they sent him all the help he needed to stay in office because they couldn't afford because as you can see they were afraid of communism China and so Russia yeah, right. yeah to, to send their people in and, and, and get buddies with them because Oh, most of the fighting was for the minerals. The minerals, I mean, there was nothing really there. The people were starving. I mean, one day we'd have a thousand troops around our area getting ready to train them. And we wake up in the morning the next day, they're all gone. They just took off because they weren't getting paid. It was Operation Bonnie Birch. When I went to Pope Air Force Base, that's next to Fort Bragg, the four of us went in there. All we were supposed to do is tell the flight people, Operation Bonnie Birch. Nothing else. We were issued weapons, ammunition, we loaded the C-130, and we flew off. And that's the way it was. happened. We don't know what you're talking about. Forget it. I got this back. The country, country plan for the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So, 
classified. They unclassified it. Uh, it looks like uh, February 18, 1997. So see, they, they already had it when I was already writing to them. Now they classified it probably about the same time. Because I think it was around that time I started writing them. And they just, and then they, they went as far as sending, sending me my personnel records, copies of it, to show that I was at Fort Bragg, according to that, during that time. Basically, a combat zone. Why do they give you ammo with a with a weapon, <laughs> right? And then tell you, you're you're you you're not you're not you're not entitled to anything because of your classification. That's not my fault. They asked for volunteers. I went. There was other guys from the 82nd there. They were there too. There was British soldiers there. There was Korean soldiers there. So, I mean, you know, just, I was there with them, you know. Now, now they're starting to uh, pick things apart, saying, oh, wait a minute, you, you're not entitled to anything because you weren't, you weren't classified as an infantryman. <laughs> you know, you're a parachute rigger. saw a parachute there because I did everything else. I did guard, I did training. I think I packed one parachute and that was with the other guy, the British guy that was there. We were just showing each other techniques on how to, peri how to pack parachutes. But we did everything else. Guard aircraft, when they were loading them, unloading them. We were locked and loaded, we had weapons. So you know, they weren't there. They didn't see it. They don't know. They're just going by what they have their paperwork there. I'm telling them factual of what was what what I, what I had to do. You're a soldier. You're trained. You do what you they, you do what they tell you to do, and that's the way it works. But you know, uh, all I wanted to do is get them to just give me acknowledgement. That way. Tell people about it; they don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> because see, now I got the proof. But you, you can't walk around with this all the time, right? Say, oh yeah, it did happen here. I got the proof. You know, here it is. I wasn't lying. So that's 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 the it. That's the way the whole whole thing ended up. <laughs>